Hello Capricorn, it's my lady from my lady's way tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 21st through the 28th, 2019. The cards I'm using today ooh, are flying all over the place. Our Oracle of the Mermaid by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off with my Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. Alright guys, let's get this show on the road. Alright, I don't know why y'all. I feel like I got to burn this sage. So that's what I'm doing right now. I got my little Santo stick. Whatever this is, this stuff. Somebody referred it to me. Uh oh <coughs> oh sorry gonna burn a little bit of that real quick sorry I usually do this before the video but I feel like I gotta do it right now all right nice I don't know where my stage at but I do that after the video okay mm. okay yeah we got some X's coming back. Okay, so, mm-hmm, sneak, sneaky, sneaky. All right, so we got X's coming back. I do feel like somebody is trying to, I do feel like somebody is trying to put a force field of, of positive energy. I feel like somebody's trying to block themselves from this X. They keep coming back, okay? Uh. I think you might just have to be mean, okay? You just got to let them know exactly what it is, okay? Other than that, they're going to think it's okay to keep coming back, okay? They're going to think it's all right. All right, let's see what that is. Mmm. Okay, so we know they're coming back for grown-up activity. And what's crazy is I feel like you guys are connected as well. I mean, this is to the, the telepathy card. Usually this is about um, just connecting mentally. Um, but this, to me, represents grown-up activity as well. And I do feel like you guys are connected. When you think about this person, they come. They call, like, out of nowhere. Five, ten years, five, ten months. Every time you, you like, think about this person, have a dream about their person, here they go. Here they come, okay? So I do feel like somebody's trying to cleanse themselves from this person. But you got to stop thinking so hard about them too because you guys are definitely connected, okay? Definitely connected. Mm. Okay, so this was sort of sideways. So I do feel like a secret is out a little bit. I do feel like it's almost out completely, Okay. Oh, I do feel like there's a lot of people talking about what's going on. Um, I do feel like there is some grown-up activity happening with you guys. I do feel like somebody wants this to be over, though. Somebody's ready to end this type of relationship. Um, and I do feel like it's because everybody is talking about it now. Okay, I do feel like it was just sneaking around. You don't know. I don't know. My family don't know. It don't matter if y'all are together or apart. I mean, with someone else. I do feel like... It was still a secret, no matter if you guys were in other relationships or not. Okay, y'all still didn't want anybody to know. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, so we got the arrival, the new, the journey ends. So I do feel like yes, yeah, somebody's trying to cleanse themselves from this situation, from this relationship. From this connection okay so we got the wisdom card so this makes me feel like what you do what you're doing is definitely a wise decision for you okay all right I feel like it's a wise decision somebody is starting something new somebody's starting a new relationship somebody's really starting to care about this person okay so of course you got to get rid of the the old thing before you you can start something new and beautiful i do honestly feel like some of you guys may be um pregnant by this new person as well okay if it's not a pregnancy i do feel like something new something beautiful and something different is happening right now and i do feel like you're making a choice to not let this sneaky little ex come in the back door yes new beginnings 
and pregnancies, okay? Good. Mm-hmm. New beginnings. But I do feel like, I feel like a little thing in the back of my head. Like, be careful if you're still dealing with this pregnancy. I mean, I do feel like somebody did, still has this decision to make. So, you don't want that pregnancy to end up your exes, okay? But I do feel like some kind of pregnancy is getting ready to start some kind of new beginning. You don't want this new situation, this new love you have to be over because of a situation with an ex, okay? Because mm -mm. this new thing could possibly turn into something beautiful, but it won't if the ex comes through. All right, so... We got the drift card reverse. So I do feel like you're ready to go on. You're ready to let go. This X is not going to be as easy, okay? And don't fall for that one last time thing, okay? That one last time is going to make this baby appear, <laughs> all right? Um, and then it's going to make you um, ruin the chances of actually um, having a positive, a good, a loving relationship with this new person, okay? Alright, so we got the siren card here. So I do feel like you're getting all kinds of signs from your energy, spirit guides, um, friends, families, dreams. You know, all these energies is telling you to move forward. But I do feel like a little piece of you just want to listen to this person and want to hang around. But they're definitely stopping you from where you're going. Okay? Holding, holding your happiness back. Okay? So, of course, we got the sacrifice card here. I feel like you don't want to sacrifice this person, but you know you have to. Okay? You know you have to. Mm, mm, mm. This is definitely something. Oh, sorry. Sorry, my candles. For some reason, they just start going real high. All right. Yeah, so it seems like the person that you're dealing with don't want you to go away. Um... But I do feel like you don't want it, uh, this to end too, but you know you have to end it, okay? All right, so we got the receptivity card here. So I do feel like, yeah, you're going to have to block contact, block phone calls, okay? Um, you see messages, don't look, go, don't go there, okay? Because you go there, you already know what's going to happen. You already know what's going to happen. All right, but let's see what's going on with the Capricorn. Capricorn love reading for October 21st through the 28th. Don't pick up that phone, please. <laughs> but of course, it's your decision. It's saying you're going to make the wise decision, okay? So I feel like just surround yourself with people you love, family, friends, all that good stuff, okay? And it'll help you make that better choice, all right? Or that new person. All right, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Oh. All right. All right, so we have the Magician Reverse. So I do feel like there's going to be a little bit of manipulation going on here. Um, I do feel like somebody is going to try to um, keep you back, okay? Somebody's not willing, so I do feel like somebody is going to try to keep you with them okay so this could be somebody your ex is trying to get you to stay and they're gonna try to get pregnant by you or get you pregnant okay they trying to do the old sneakeroo here mm. all right so we got the high priestess reversed <laughs> okay so that card represents pregnancies as well okay but it also represents secrets coming out so i do feel like if you get pregnant by this ex and you got somebody new to keep you around, they will tell that person, okay? Um, this also makes me feel like... I do feel like you're getting ready to hear some kind of other kind of secrets too, okay? We're going to see what's going on with that in a minute. Alright, so we have the... Six of Swords reversed here. So this makes me feel like... I do feel like it's going to be a lot of chaos surrounding this situation. Oh, I think somebody's getting ready to move out. I think somebody's about to move out or move away. Or maybe somebody was supposed to go on a trip, but it's not happening. 
All right, so we got the hermit card here. So I do feel like whatever is going on here, somebody is depressed. Somebody's freaking out about it. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on with this high priest, this reverse. One card, please, for the Capricorn. Mm-hmm. So somebody's trying to see, are they going to leave or are they going to stay in the situation? Um, I do feel like it's after some kind of secret, okay? So I feel like this is the new person trying to determine if they're going to leave your relationship after they found out that you're dealing with an ex, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with this Six of Swords reversed. All right, so we got the Ten of Cups here. So, I do feel like it's going to cause a lot of chaos. I do feel like this ex, I don't know why this little whatever thing here, <laughs> this Capricorn symbol here, or a Capricorn man, or a thingy thing, uh, it just started looking like sneaky. So, I do feel like this telling the secret of what's going on or what's been happening for the last past years, somebody's going to try to say it's still going on. Okay, or somebody, if it does happen, somebody's going to try to tell um, to ruin um, your relationship. Okay, mm -mm. watch out now. All right, so we got the chariot reversed. So definitely somebody is, um, I feel like somebody is depressed about having to lead this situation. But I do feel like somebody wants some revenge. Okay, somebody is mad and they want some revenge. Okay. So we got the temperance card here. So I do feel like somebody is waiting for the right time to strike, okay? But I do feel like you keep messing with this X is going to sting you, all right? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.